How's it going guys? Today we're going to do a mini fuel mileage video. Uh, we're doing a trek from Whitfield, Virginia down to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. About 350 miles. Uh, I'm not going to trailer this time. We just got a bunch of luggage and stuff with us. We're going down just for vacation. Um, last time I did a video, it was we were still on winter fuel. It was back in March. So uh, hoping to get you a little bit better calculation on what these things will get for fuel mileage and split summer fuel. Um, it's a, like I said, it's a 2021 F450, just like in the last video, same truck. Uh, if you guys haven't checked that out yet, I can check it out. We ran from Pennsylvania down to Florida. Like I said, that was back in the winter. We was on winter fuel. I think if I remember, we averaged about 14 and a half. So hoping to do a little bit better this time. We're still gonna try and run about 75, 80 the whole way. Uh, depending on traffic, we'll see how that goes. But if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And uh, be sure to, if you got any questions, drop it down in the comments and we'll do our best to help you out too. So we're gonna go ahead and reset our trip meter and then uh, we'll get ahead going here and we'll see how we can make out. So we're in Bennettsville, South Carolina. We're uh, about an hour and a half out from Myrtle, as long as we don't hit a lot of traffic. Uh, we try to get in here by, trying to be in Myrtle by 11.30, it's Saturday morning, trying to beat the traffic so we can get a decent fuel mileage spec where we're moving and not sitting in traffic the whole time. So far, this is the only time we've been sitting the whole way down from 74 into Bennettsville, he's running about 70, so that gives you an idea of how little traffic there is. So I'm running with traffic. You can see there's people behind me and in front of me. We're running 70, the speed limit's 55. So that just gives you an idea how good traffic's rolling going into Myrtle. So we're coming into uh, Myrtle Beach here. This is the first we hit traffic. We made it clear down to 17 and basically just ran about 50, 60 the whole way. So we're gonna pull in here and get fuel in a little while and we'll figure out what we did. So we just pulled in here to get fuel. Uh, we went a total of 299 miles, so we'll go ahead and fill up and see what it takes, and then we'll calculate it. It's showing 16.4 on that meter there. Uh, usually it's a little bit under what it says there. While we're filling up here, to give you an idea where we came, uh, we ran down, we started a trip in Withville. We ran down uh, out of Withville, uh, pretty much ran 77 down to 74, and I think that's 52, we ran that pretty much the whole way down to uh, 74 again and then cut over to 38 south and then just bring it down to 501 right down into Myrtle Beach. Uh, I'd say we averaged about 65 70 mile an hour on the interstate. I was trying to run about 75 80 and then this last leg of the trip we was only running about we probably average about 60. So I'd say 75 is a good good guess for the entire trip. We'll go ahead and finish filling up here and then we'll calculate and see what we did here. We're all filled up here. We'll go ahead and top it off. Now that is endless. We have an ice cold bottle to go. Let's go ahead and calculate and see what that comes out to. So that comes out to 15.91 miles per gallon. Um, like I said, that was about a 300 mile trip, 299. Uh, difference between this and the last video did, yeah. well, number one, the truck's got more miles on it. We're up around 9,400 now. And uh, number two, this trip was in summer, so we were running on summer blend. Picked up about a mile per gallon over the last video. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button and uh, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, you guys stay safe out there.